All right, making the trek out to Fontucky today. Uh, get some more work done to the car. Uh, I need to get the, uh, what the fuck? Need to get the other side of the uh, the hubs off, um, the, uh, the rear rear passenger side. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna install the coilovers today. I've gotta drop the drive shaft to uh, access the brake cables. I, I really don't, I, I got fat fingers. I'm not trying to finagle around all that bullshit. Maybe if I had a lift. Um, but yeah, man, get some more work done to this fucking car today. All right, man, we're, we're back at mom and dad's. Uh, is all this unnecessary? Probably. Um, still got braids in my hair, so I gotta have the do-rag on. But I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm working on here. Um, well, I don't think I'm doing much with this fucking side this week anyways, but uh, I'm gonna take the uh, the old e-brake cables off, put the uh, the new R R32 uh, ones on uh, for the brake conversion. Uh, I, um, I'll, I'll just show you, I'll flip the camera right now. So I took a, a mallet and I, I pounded this guy out right here. So I can't thread, I mean, normally like when I take something off, I'll thread a bolt back on, uh, put it back where it was when I'm done. Um, as you can see, I fucked this guy up. So, uh, I bought a die kit, but I think I just bought like the run of the mill. I think, um, I was looking for a specific size. It was like M24 something, something or other. And after looking at none of all of these, like none of these are the fucking size I need. Um, but I did need a new M, M, uh, M6. So that's in here. That's, uh cool but yeah uh this other uh tutorial that i was watching because I, I couldn't get this thing loose and i didn't have uh, a pickle for uh thank you uh for that so uh anyways yeah i didn't have a pickle fork so i just bashed this thing with a fucking mallet and uh you know i was watching this idiot and he was like uh, just go ahead and uh, put the the nut on uh just thread it like halfway and then tap it with a hammer and uh tapping to me is like fucking you know how Thor would tap lightning out of the fucking sky. So I put that shit on here and bash the fuck out of it. And uh, this doesn't thread back in as well. Uh, I'm just figuring this nut's fucked and I could probably fix it on the other side. So I might just try to thread it over there to uh, fix the threads. Uh, but I got two nuts basically that are fucked. Well, the, the nuts might be fine, but um, yeah, these threads might be fucked on these two things. Uh, replacing a ball joint, not that big of a deal um, if it comes to that really ain't nothing wrong with it it's still fucking works it's not leaking so i don't i don't know if i want to replace that uh we're taking the coilovers off today uh, i just took the front one off uh over there so uh yeah i'm gonna do all this to the other side and then e-brake cable is uh next and hopefully i can do that without dropping the drive shaft i'm gonna go ahead and assess that in a second i heard it's a uh, quite a bitch to do and uh i don't know if you've seen me but I'm not really like the uh, the slimmest uh, or fairest uh, guy to be doing that with, but so yeah, that's that's what I'll be doing next today. All right, man, we got the uh, got the hamburger meat out, the taco meat out. So these are the stands for my rear strut tower bar. Um, normally, you'll see it in the uh, back of the window here. Sorry, we're on selfie mode. So, anyways, uh, I got these little Cusco. Uh, quick release um, jams and I went to go put them in but because they center um, the the strut tower bar the wiggle room uh, that you have right here goes away so what I did was uh, I took a, a stepped drill bit and uh, widen these holes I'm going to do the same with the other side about uh, two step it up that way uh, what I can do is I can put the bar in and fit the, uh, the Cusco thingies in and then move this around to where I need it to be so the bar kind of just drops in, um, has the same effect, and then obviously tighten the suspension down. And I figured since we have the car part to uh, replace the suspension, what better time uh, to resolve this uh, little nuance, um, which isn't a huge deal. Uh, I could use the old hardware still. I just I paid $40 uh, for these quick releases, so I would like to use them three of the uh, old shocks out here. So I think this was like the cause of my vibration here. It's really hard to tell, but basically uh, this pillow ball mount is not supposed to move. 
not like this. Not supposed to have this kind of play. So uh, I was getting like this horrible fucking suspension clank uh, from this. And because they're jicks, I don't know if I can get them serviced uh, anymore. I know they have a shop in uh, in Alhambra, but they normally only do like poor shit. And anytime I've ever reached out to them, I never got a response back. Last time they updated their website was like 2015. So we got the uh, we got the new new in place. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna run the hose right there. I'll probably clock this uh, to where it's that way or that way so I can run the hose um, where the uh, the brake line's coming in. And I'll probably have to separate those with some kind of rubber grommet, um, just so that doesn't get jacked up uh, by the stainless steel line or the hard line from rubbing. But yeah, that's, that's the new new right there. It's looking pretty nice. Uh, all of my brakes uh, and the top hats I sent off to Bulletproof uh, powder coating. Uh, I wonder if I should replace these studs uh, while I have them off. I think I only replaced the rear studs. He's got some rust on them, but I think like the brakes mainly sit here and I'm only using these threads. So maybe I should just get some longer, longer threads just in case for the front. Um, but I don't know. Every time you take something apart on your car, uh, you end up spending money somewhere else you didn't intend to. So I'm gonna ignore it for now. Uh, this power brace, not a lot of power right there. This is the OEM one. I should get a power brace. As you can see, it's kind of buckled in. Uh, or it's probably really hard to tell. I don't know. But anyways, uh, back to the back to the grind. I keep trying to tell myself like not to forget uh, to record things. I don't really have like a burner uh, camera on me. It's mainly mine, my cell phone that I have hooked up, and I kind of have it hooked up to my dad's like non Bluetooth uh, garage speaker solution. So I got some tunes in the garage. We did pick up uh, some some working clothes. I know I'm just kind of rambling. So let me get back to it, man. I don't know Changing a uh, e-brake cable sucks. Small update, so I can rotate these right here, so I'm kind of running it around the back of the the strut hat here. This is my uh, skid plate uh, for my harness, so it's tucked up here, and it's going into here. And I'm just gonna run it along the, uh, the clutch line. Uh, I got a T-fitting somewhere uh, to hook this up and run it to the back, so I just need to do uh, this, uh, this side right here pretty much do the same thing, uh, sort out zip ties, tying it down, and then I'll probably run to the back of the car uh, with the fuel lines. All right, so got the, uh, the brake cables done for the day. Uh, the bracket to install them is a little weird. Got the uh, lines run up in here. I got it teed off. Uh, and then I just got the excess line. I need to run to the back of the car. So I was filming uh, footage to end the, uh, the video yesterday. And then I received a uh, phone call uh, from a couple of high school friends. Uh, kind of like back to back. So um, I stopped what I was doing to uh, entertain the conversation. And uh, it turns out one of our high school friends, uh, his 12-year-old kid ended up having a brain aneurysm. Um, and it's just like, you know, it's every, every parent's like worst fear. Uh, to have you know something happen to their kid I mean you just you spend every day uh, with a child just trying to figure out how to keep it alive you know feeding it you know making sure they're okay um, you know that they have the best opportunities and stuff um, you know available to them and a lot of people really just uh, don't understand like the gravity of that until they have a kid themselves um, especially if you know you're young right now and you don't have kids so um, I, I waited like uh, 40, 40 years myself to have my first kid. And I'm sorry, I'm not like the most well-spoken uh, person that makes like car, car videos and stuff like that. So I do apologize if uh, you listen to the speech in any of my videos and I'm always saying, um, or I'm trying to put, put my words together because I don't have like uh, my thoughts like scripted out. I have ADHD, uh, my mind's kind of all over the place. Um, so just to recap, like where we're at, I know I'm segueing back into the car stuff. We finished off, I was just showing that I got my e-brake cables in. Um, I got the other side disassembled, the passenger side uh, rear knuckle um, disassembled. Um, I got all of the, uh, the new coilovers installed in the car. Um, they were all adjusted to the same uh, heights and stuff that the old coilovers were set to. Uh, I eyeballed uh, the camber on the uh, measurement gauges 
and then on my strut tower um, mounts, my strut tower bar mounts and the rear tower bar mounts, I took um, you know a step drill bit to open up the uh, the size of the holes uh, to uh, to allow a little bit more adjustment because I got these uh, these quick release uh, Cusco bolts or whatever you want to call them. Um, for the um, the tower bars and they don't seem to fit properly or they're not playing nice um, with the uh, the bars because it centers the, the the hole that's in the bar um, so there's no there's no wiggle room to kind of get it right it's like once once that thing's in there the bar is centered and it has really nowhere to go so once you go to do the other side because it's so dialed in um, there's no like wiggle room to correct like you know what you did so those were the two things that I majorly accomplished yesterday. I did put in the uh, the cool Nismo uh, cigarette lighter um, kill switch looking thing that I got off of eBay. Uh, I blame Amanda Drifts um, for that purchase. I saw she had a couple of those things and I just, you know, let me go see how much they cost. They're pretty expensive. But I, I'm sure like if I bought an OEM cigarette lighter for a Nissan um, that's 20 years old, it would probably be about $100. So. Uh, I got a pretty decent price, I'm not complaining. So yeah, it's just, it's a lot of stuff for me to mentally list out and say that I'm doing uh, without writing a list of things to do on the windshield of my car. And then obviously as I'm performing one of these projects, just something pops up somewhere else. Like I hopped under the car to change the brake cables to the R33. I see that my diff is covered in sludge. So it's uh, it's probably time to change the fluid in there. Uh, cause I'm sure the fluid in the diff is, is caking up and it's, it's flying out of the, uh, vent tube uh, that's at the top of it. Um, I would like to take the car to a shop, put it on a lift and power wash the bottom of it. So that's, uh, it's, uh, it's on my list of things to do. I really, you know, I don't, when I work on the car, like, you know, and I see something dirty, I don't sit there, you know, try and refresh my entire subframe or some shit, because it's going to get dirty again. It's a car. It's meant for driving. That's it. Anyways, man, I, I don't want to ramble on too long. I know nobody really listens to this part because there's no car shit in there. So, um, you know, thank you guys for listening. Uh, thanks for tuning in, checking out the, the Instagram and all that stuff. And uh, any feedback or um, curiosity about anything that I'm doing, uh, thank you for inquiring.